Thanks for sticking around with this. We're actually going to be giving away some stuff today, like over a couple, couple hundred dollars stuff. This cup right here, uh, it's going to go in the trash. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I got a Padre hat. I know. They lost. This sucks. That was a bad night. What's up, guys? How you doing? Created by Lexus. You were a winner yesterday. What's up? Say hi to Magali. We're here at the shop, getting creative with some dyes. We're using some pinata dyes today. Some jacquard, jacquard, I don't know how to say it. How you doing, uh, the maker, Macarino? Why? Wow, I'm not sure how to say that. All right, hi guys. Sprinkletic, more than just glitter. What's up? Cook them. How you doing? So the idea with these is we're going to have some greens, but sometimes the greens don't always look green. That looks really blue, right? You guys need to, you need to show them the bottle. Yeah. So this one right here, this is a, uh, that's a black. oh, that's a black. This, one right this here. rainforest green. Yo, makes, this is why you got to test little bits before you put it on your, your finished product. Look at that. It looks like a blue, right? And this green wouldn't turn that. I mean, I can't imagine that white would do that to it but no. hey so we're giving away some some stuff today we're gonna give away a hat today we're gonna give, give away one of our aprons here that's what you see magali wearing on today and then also we have a special special goodie box over here what's in the box what's in the box and here we have a kit we have 10 resins 10 powders special mat and then we're also going to be throwing in one of these fantastic tumbler spinner boxes. The actual tumbler itself comes with a lid and the plastic straw as well. So hope you guys stick around for that. We're gonna be doing that a little bit later. So what we're doing right now is we're just writing down everyone's name. We're gonna be putting into a fancy hat. We're doing it old school and we're just gonna draw draw someone's name at the end. So you gotta, gotta stick around. If you're not, you draw your name, you're not here. Sorry, we'll move on to the next person. So how many people think we should just get rid of this Dodgers cup and throw it away? <laughs> Why are you because it's my character? <laughs> yeah, this is what Magali makes. She, she made this uh, make for us. Too. Yeah, it makes other teams too. So you can find her at MVP Custom Designs. There's my fancy handwriting right there. MVP Custom Designs. She has a an awesome Etsy shop. She makes these custom tumblers right here. This one's pretty cool. I mean, even though it does have, you know, the the wretched Dodgers mm -hmm. information on there. <laughs> uh, yes, please make, make one with SD on there. Slam in San Diego, baby, right? Uh, <laughs> designs by Ness, how you doing? What's going on, guys? So what, what are we doing right now? Mixing, so we're mixing some of our coating epoxy, our tumbler coater epoxy. We already put part A, part B in there. Now we're mixing it up nice and good. Nice and clear, right? Pretty dope. Nice, what's that? Ac Attack is working with resin with us right now. Nice. nice. What, are what are you work? working Yeah, what are you working on? Sorry, I keep jumping in. <laughs> it's okay. I keep jumping Stop in. Stop being so chatty, Jace. <laughs> oh, yeah. Angels all the way, Josh. That's right. She does great work. Oh, you're getting some compliments, Magali. Oh, Look thanks, at that. guys. Man, Miss Artsy, how you doing? Gray Wolf, how you doing? Hey, if you know anyone that's in the epoxy space that plays with epoxy and likes epoxy resin, dyes pigments colors tag them yeah, let them cool. know because we're we're giving away we're giving away a kit right now i'm even jealous myself that i'm not taking that home so you guys need to stick around uh, <laughs> what's I'm in the so box what's in the box so it's going to be a 64 ounce a 64 ounce kit of our coating epoxy and what do we have here in this bag right here let's just pull it all out so we got, oh my gosh, can't do this with two hands. 
Sorry guys. So we'll just dump it all out real fast. You guys can see what's what it comes with. So we have uh, pearlescent powders. We've got 10 of these pearlescents. And then we have 10 of these pigments that's coming. And these pigments are really good for like base coats. A little bit goes a long way, guys. Yeah, a tiny a bit little, goes a little bit. Tiny bit goes a long, long ways. And I think you used. Uh, this is what oh, I yeah. tried to make. Yeah, there you go. Oh, and then I used this one. Is it in there? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, so we're throwing in some of our our best-selling liquid pigments. Some of our these these mica powders are insane. They they like. That's my favorite color. They shimmer and shine. This one's called a a luster blue. With that. Let me bring it. Luster blue. So we're giving away ten of these. I think there's actually 11 of the micro powders that comes with it. And then inside the kit, you're getting part A, part B of our coating epoxy. Hopefully I don't get all sticky by holding this. Part A, part B, you're getting 64 ounces. This is not the 64 ounce kit. This is like a, you know, like an eight ounce kit. We'll get the 64 ounce version of this. And then one of our limited edition silicone resin mats. Um, silicone is awesome because when you put a cured product on it, you can just peel it off and start all over and you'll have a, basically a really clean working surface all over again. So this is the, this is the luster blue pigment mixed in with alcohol inks, with black and white, alcohol. black and white alcohol inks. And that was this one right here. All right. What's the difference between coating and telmer? So uh, more than just glitter. So we actually, it's it's the same thing. It's uh, it's our tumbler. It's our epoxy resin made for tumblers. We're just changing like the the labels, the wording on it. Um, it's the same stuff. It's going to be live on our website here soon. But we're we're getting ready to put the bundler, the big boy, the uh, the box right here with the tumbler itself. And then everything I just showed you is all going to be in one big box. And that's going to be a kit that's going to be on the website here soon. You can find our link in the bio. But hey, if you haven't shown it, told anybody, we're giving away that bundler today to one lucky person. But also, let's do it right now. Let's let's give away something. we got to get rid of this. I, I can't have no, this that's Dodgers. Rich. That's, that belongs to Rich. Oh, man. Please. No. Put some bids on this. Does anyone want to buy this? <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right, let's let's do uh, let's do a hat real fast. Let's do a hat. Who wants to get a hat? <laughs> yeah. He wants to get rid of your cup, Rich. Yeah, I'm getting rid of your cup, bro. We can't have this in here. <laughs> All right, so we're here with Magali. If you can spell her name, spell her name correctly in the comments, <laughs> and then put good luck, guys. Put MVP custom designs oh, yeah let's just do that mvp custom designs and if you can spell her name correctly the first person will will get the will get the hat her name is magali don't cheat no cheating no cheating <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry i keep being so shaky all right so what are we doing now Layer. I accidentally got some mica in here, but it's okay. Oh, I'm fix it. Yeah, so all you got to do to enter to, to, to win the, the bundler kit today is just watch. We're going to pick someone randomly. We're going to we're going to, we get everyone, we're going to get everyone's name. We're just going to swipe through, figure out, pick it, pick a name real quick. And whoever's here, um, you got to be here to, to win obviously at the end. So if you're not here, we'll move on. All right, we got some we got some guesses for Magali. We have M E G A U L I. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, M A G A L I. No. Nope. M A M A G A L E E. Nope. nope. Close. Close. Yeah. So we're giving away we're giving away one of our epoxy resin store hats right now. You just got to spell Magali's name for uh, correctly. M-A-G-A-L-I? No. 
Super close. So close. Super close. Almost there. Who wants this hat? Got to spell her name right. But you'll find you'll find her at MVP Custom Designs. But don't go yet. Uh oh. I'm sure. I'm sure you could probably figure out what how to spell her name if you go to go to her uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I got M A G A L L Y. Very close. M A G A L I E. Nope. M A G G A A L Y. Nope. Nope. You guys are so so close. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Unique She Two O Three. You are the closest so far. So what's the plan with what you're doing right now? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was so focused on my name. Um, <laughs> right now, I'm adding the first layer. So then it can turn into this once we add the, once we add the alcohol into the pigment. So you add the... So we add a first layer of epoxy. Oh, wait. M-A-G-A-L-Y. Who is Mickey, that? Mickey Shell 710. Yay, You're the winner. Mickey, Mickey Shell, hey, hey, send us a DM with your information, and we'll we'll make sure that we get this uh, sent out to you. Uh, Mickey, M I C K Y Shell, S H E L L seven one zero. She's got a hat. She won the hat. Hey, good job. Nice. Awesome. Hey, congrats. Hey, so that's that's we're just we're gonna be giving away like like we said earlier today, uh, entire bundler kit. It's gonna be. This box right here, the tumbler turner, it's gonna be one of the actual tumblers. It comes with the, the lid and a, uh, a straw, it's a plastic straw. Mm -hmm. um, and then also it's gonna be a 64 ounce kit of our coating epoxy, which is made for tumblers and coatings. This stuff is UV stable, doesn't yellow, nope. and it cures quickly, super which fast. is super important. Um, you need to work fast when it comes to this one. Yeah. So when you use this for tumblers, you do have to work a little faster, which is good because when you're pumping out tumblers, oh, as yeah. many tumblers like M Magali is, you want this stuff to, to kind of hurry up, right? Yes. Literally, I coated one at noon, let's say noon, by 6 o'clock. It was fully cured. Yeah. Where I can even, I can grab it, grab onto it. It wasn't tacky at all. That's in a few hours? That was just in, within a few hours. So, Captain Tanili, sorry if I butchered your name, you're asking, how do you avoid bubbles? So, when you're mixing your resin, you need to mix slowly. Make sure you're mixing slowly. Once you're finished mixing it, you need to let it sit for a minute or two, and then you just get a torch, and you lightly go over it. One of these bad boys because right Because all the bubbles are going to rise up to the top. Now... To avoid bubbles on here, you just um, you just have to be gentle with it. Take your time, and then once you're finished, let let it sit for like a minute or two as well, and then you go over it with the torch. Nice. And anybody, uh, you know, if you're kind of new to using epoxy resin or you're super interested, um, drop some questions below, and we'll we'll do our best to to answer your questions. Um, we've been obviously Magali's an expert at creating tumblers and she's been doing this for years and um you know i have a little bit of experience <laughs> uh so yeah what's what's the best resin to use for coasters so this I, you know what this what this would actually be a good resin for coasters it really depends there that's a depends yeah depends is a, a, a an answer to a lot of questions because it really depends on how thick you want it to be um, Mr. Reach, what would be a good resin for coasters? I use that one. Is it for uh, coating or for deep board? For like coasters. Are you doing like half inch, half inch coasters, or are you doing some some deeper, some thick, really thick coasters? What do you think? Super half gloss, inch. Our super gloss. Super gloss would work fantastic if we're adding pigments. Yeah. Or. Multi-purpose, our general use would be great as well. Okay. But the uh, multi-purpose temperature range is only going to be to about 150 Fahrenheit, where the tumbler and the super gloss will be up to about 170 Fahrenheit. Okay. So yeah, they said about a half inch. So we'd go the super gloss on the half inch. Yep. And the only thing I would say about super gloss is that uh, it cures fairly quickly, potentially a lot of micro bubbles. 
But if you're going to add in pigments, you won't see those things anyway. Yeah. Alcohol inks and, and mica powders, glow powders, those will masquerade the bubbles. So, Mr. Rich, how do we get rid of this tumbler? I need. I don't want it in here. <laughs> First of all, that's mine. <laughs> Magali made that for me. Can we get rid of this, guys? Yeah, like, I'm if we get take it up to my office, if right we now. get enough, if we get okay. enough hearts and and we'll, we'll give away, let's, now, let's do this. This one here, um, we may be able to unload this one here. This then. one, uh, or I can make a customize with your favorite team. Yeah, everybody. Uh, by the way, you can yeah. order these from Magali's yeah. website. Yeah. yeah. So just DM me on Instagram. And it's uh, MVP, MVP Custom Designs. Designs. Here's some sweatshirts we're gonna give away too, Jay. Some sweatshirts. Yeah. All right. It's cool. So cold right now. All right, yeah, it's so cold in the summer months. <laughs> All right, so who wants a sweatshirt? These are very what, nice. What size are these bad boys? Well, these are going to be for uh, comfort. These are uh, okay. extra large. All right, so these are extra larges. All right, so we got to come up with a question, right? All right, guys, so let's see here. Is there tumblers out there for coating smaller items? Um, I make wax carvers and roach clips that I like to coat, but it'd be easier with a tumbler that can hold smaller objects. Are you asking, are you talking about the tumbler spinner? Um, Ack Attack, and then I use epoxy zero bubbles on coasters. Thank you. Yeah, we are located in Lake Elsinore. Um, before you come by, you always wanna give us a ring because um, occasionally the crew's uh, not here. They're doing other projects sometimes, so. We're here Monday, um, Monday to Friday, eight to 4 p.m. daily. Yeah, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. So I have a question. What resin to use for planter cover? It isn't solid when cured. I'm in Europe. Thank you. So a planter cover. So that would be like a cardboard. So your coat. So just like your, your day planner, maybe. So you just want to cover you just want to coat the top of your day planner. So N N U S A A. I still think super gloss would be fantastic for that. So super gloss would be the most ideal. You can find the link in our bio, and like if you go to our Instagram shop, you'll see um, see our products on there. Uh, let's see here, Lady Licious Crafts. She wants that Dodgers cup. Nice name. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll, we we can give that to her. Lady Licious. We're gonna give it to her, yeah. And then. Uh, oh my God. My golly, I'm gonna have to get you. Lady Licious, are you still watching? Looks like you just got lucky. You're going to get the Dodgers Cup. Thank you for getting rid of this thing. <laughs> Go Padres, even though we lost. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, guys. Going to the game tonight. All right. All right. Sent a cookie. I don't know who that is. Mickey Shell. Going to start here in the Rockies. Mickey Shell, you're the winner earlier. The Crafting Nook is here. Mallory Sh Sherry's here. They're actually putting the hat in a box right now as we speak. Blings be popping. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Lady Licious, yes, congrats. So you gotta sh you gotta shoot us a DM. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna write down your 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 uh, Instagram right now, but shoot us a DM and we'll we'll get that sent out to you. Lady Licious. So it's L A D Y Licious. She took my cup. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to go follow me. Yeah, find uh find Mogali at at MVP Custom Designs. Yes. And, and uh. When you receive it. And then. Do you want to share the, the big news about your um, glitters, Magali? Or are we waiting for that? Um, Just curious, is a tumbler machine that F you know of that can hold smaller things? I don't know. No, I so Akatak is asking if there's a smaller version of a tumbler machine. Yeah, there's there's smaller versions. Right now, this is the one that we've uh, created mainly for tumbler specifically, but they do make smaller versions of these spinners. Of oh, the spinners? Um, yeah, I mean, you can just, you know, we don't have anything to, to well, share with you at the moment. The these is the, because the football that's on the post there, you can put different size tumblers on. Yeah. You know, small cups, big cups. So this is this is what goes inside the, the actual uh, tumbler machine right here. So it's just a piece of PVC at the moment. And then this piece, this little football that we have, um, this is what... You, we use to secure the tumbler on it so you can take this off and you can create something else like a smaller smaller version to go in there and then maybe you know if you have a really small small item that you're working with so i mean it can be customized however to, to whatever you're using it for so um 
But anyways, yeah, yeah, congrats. The Crafty Nook says what's up. All right. KJD29, thanks for joining us. So hey, if you have if you haven't uh, heard, we're giving away a, this this kit's like a two hundred dollar kit. Um, it's going to be our sixty four ounce kit of our coating epoxy that we use for specifically for tumblers. We have the the epoxy resin store. It's a silicone mat that we use. Um, this is another example of it, but this thing's super good, um, especially when you're because doing tumblers because all your epoxy or whatever you're doing is dripping on here. So all you got to do is just you know any any resin in here that doesn't have the part b in it you mix it in there get it all in there it'll when it cures it'll literally just peel off like a piece of plastic so basically you'll start start over with a fresh new mat every time uh it cures and you peel it off so and then with that kit the 64 ounce uh kit of the epoxy and then also the mat we're giving away 10 of our pigments and 10 of our our mica powders and then also one of the tumbler returners here the cup itself, it's a stainless steel cup that comes with it, tumbler. And then with the tumbler, you'll get the, the lid itself and uh, the straw. So you're gonna get everything. That's like a, it's well over $200 at the moment. So you're gonna get that. Uh, all you have to do is watch. And at the end, we're gonna tag, we're gonna pick a name. You gotta be watching though. Cause if you're not here at the end, sorry, we're gonna pick somebody else. We'll choose a winner at 11 o'clock, it's 1044. It's 1044, so at 11 o'clock, 11 ish, 11 -ish. <laughs> whenever uh oh it's okay hey We're good. let's show that apron that's why you got an apron on right yeah see ba bam who wants an apron does anyone get messy with their epoxy resin you think this apron you think this apron would be good who wants one of these who wants one of these crafting aprons i want one jason mama g6 joined us hey how you doing all right, Exotic Dave 209, thanks for joining us. Actual events, Art by Yali, thanks for joining us. Crafty Nook again. Hey okay, guys, which one's your favorite? All right, which one of these three is your favorite? One, two, or three. We got number That's one, we got number two, we got number three. That one looks really cool. So why do you have it off of the, the turner? So, because if you leave it on the turner, it's literally just gonna spread this way. So what we want is for it to spread always. So what I do is I hold it down. So see the epoxy is going, moving down. Yeah. Once I want it to stop, turn it around, and then it will keep flowing to the direction that I'm giving. I'm. It almost looks like a stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's really pretty. So which one do you like best? Number one, number two, or number three? I'm gonna go with three. Oh, we got let's see here we got we got a lot of ones we got a bunch of threes at the beginning one three three two the one one three, three mm -hmm. looks like one and three one and three is winning yep me too and look at that and how about that number one she actually at the beginning she's like oh i messed up and that's the one everyone's liking <laughs> look at that that's just an example like you know you know the neat things about these tumblers is not one is exactly the same no. yeah everything's going to be unique when you work with pigments this way or even alcohol inks hey Alyssa. it's never going to look the same ever maker studio ms maker studio joined us you like number three too awesome hey you guys anyone new with uh epoxy anyone anyone uh new with epoxy have any questions it's a great time to ask one of the experts Magali, we we figured out how to spell her name correctly earlier today. Yes. <laughs> now we can just figure out how to say it. Correctly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, beautiful mistake. Whimsical drip. Absolutely. Some of the best art in the world is were mistakes, right? Yeah, they forgot to put the eyebrows on the Mona Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of art, we gotta get a we gotta have a, a meet with our friend who has epoxy or had epoxy in the Smithsonian. Uh oh. Careful. All right. Chameleon art. All right, so what are we gonna do to give away these sweatshirts? Whew. 
Nobody's liking two. D21, A22N. He'll, he says he'll take it. For number two. Yeah, we are. These are already uh, spoken for. These are. This is a commissioned project that we're doing these for. They're. Uh, who are we giving these to? These are for the local sheriff's department. Yeah, the local sheriff's department. Next week we're going to be doing um, a charity event with the Lake Elsinore Little League. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so Which stick. Again, Magali is going to be helping us with that as well. Yes. Actually, if there's anything that you guys want to see, let us know, and then we can go live when we're working on it, too. Yeah, and if you're watching a replay, put hashtag replay later on. Um, so when you when we're pouring part A, here's a question. Question to win a sweatshirt. When we're, pour, when we're mixing our resin, which part do you pour in second? Do you pour part A in second, or do you pour part B in second? Which one, which one goes in which? What is the most recommended way? You even have me second guessing. What's the second? Part B. There we go. Created by Lexus. Bam, girl. You got yourself a comfy sweatshirt created by Lexus. Congrats, congrats. We have two sweatshirts. Um, One more. So what's, uh, what's the best way to get rid of these bubbles? Captain Tennille. We'll throw it, we'll, we'll, we'll hook you up too. DM us. All right. Cool, cool, cool. LRR joined. How you doing? Resins by, Resin Crafts by Yami. How you doing? Somebody win the sweatshirt? Um, so yeah, we have uh, There's two, right? Lexus. Created by Lexus, and then I gotta go find. Captain, wasn't it Captain? Tom? Yeah. All right, Captain Tennille. T A. T A N E I L L E. Okay, I'm gonna move it down that way. Awesome. So this is one of our greens. This is a. Uh, what is this called? It's by Hobbycast. This is a. I don't know if we have the color on it. All right, here we go. Jungle green. So we used the jungle green for this one right here. And so we just made another small little batch of the coating resin, mixed in some mica powder, and now we're just adding a little design. What are you looking for when you do this, Magali? Like to basically like my technique technique? Yeah, like um like what's the there's idea really behind no, this just i just this this is what works for me just going in one direction like on, i see that you're doing it in an angle yeah so versus I do it in doing an angle. stripes like yeah because why then that it way? can go down this way but then it will also move in the angle so that way it, it flows more of a flow up and down yes all right so i add that and then i'm gonna add the alcohol inks now All right, so torch, 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 heat gun, let it sit. Torch, 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 torch is the easy way. Yeah, let it sit, torch. Stir slow, does anyone have stir slow, let it sit and torch. Slow stir, torch, missed the alcohol. Oh, there we go. Heard of that one. Mr. Gonna... Alcohol in a spray yep. bottle. Yep. Yeah. Especially Here we if go. you're working with molds, that's the go. That's the way yep. to go. I will always be a Mira Wizzy. You're the winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Shoot us a DM. Let us know you want a shirt. 
sweater. <laughs> so what's the pro why why are you doing little dots now versus lines? Because this is the alcohol inks. This is mica powder mixed with with epoxy, and these are alcohol inks. So if you were to be using alcohol inks, literally you just put dots. Because they're so kind runny. Of where you want it? Yeah, it's very runny, and it is going to spread once um, I had I add the heat to it. Yeah. So you can either leave it like this. I'm just gonna add a little bit more green to fill in the gaps a little bit. Yeah, so the, the last winner uh, we gave, I will always be Mira Wizzy. You're the winner for the, for the last shirt. Congrats. All right. All right, so now that we have, that one's not even done yet. But who's liking number one? Who's liking number two? Three and four now. Now we got four. This one has a little bit more blue. This one's more of a gold. This is a darker. I think this one's your best one. I think so too. We'll wait and see. Yeah, it's like when you start, when you start with it, just give it like 10 minutes and it's gonna be completely transformed. It'll look totally different. So you even do a little bit on the base. So now that it's a little bit spread apart around the cup, I am going to So what are you doing with the switch? Off. Oh, so you're turning it off now? So I'm turning it off so the motor doesn't get damaged. So now why do you do why do you do this? So this is so it can go into different directions. Alright. Do you see it shifting slowly? Like the liquids are shifting? Because if I would have just left it on the turner, it would have looked like this the whole time. A bunch of rings? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if right there I see that kind of going. It still down. looks beautiful, but yeah. we kinda want it to look more like a like marble type. Yeah, it does look marbly. Ec attack, yeah, no problem. We hope to keep keep doing more of these. Try to answer more people's questions because I know there's a lot of people out there that are way more creative than we are. Yes. But you just don't have the the tools. So we're hoping to show you how to do some of this stuff. And there's a million different ideas that you can use epoxy for. Um, and then some of these dyes and colors. I mean, there's crazy good artists out there doing really unique amazing stuff but yeah if you if you guys just joined us thanks thanks again we're we're here with magali uh she's at mvp custom designs you can find her on instagram also her tiktok and i think she has a she has an etsy store as well yes. uh, where she sells these custom tumblers and other epoxy resin related products so today um, 11 ish, 11 ish. We're going to be giving away 10 of our pigments, 10 of our mica powders. We're going to give away one of our, our, our silicone pad here, and then 64 ounce kit of our coating epoxy that we've made specifically for tumblers. We're going to be giving that away. All you got to do is stick around and we're just going to pick someone's someone's name randomly so you got to be got to be on the live if you're not on the live and we we ask for where you're at we got to pick somebody else but also in that kit that box is going to be one of these bad boys it'll be a brand new one um and with this it includes the tumbler spinner itself it's a limited edition the epoxy resin store branded one it has the has our little custom uh turner holder with the football on here can't do it while i'm I'm holding the phone. But yeah, this this right here is super good because it holds the tumbler. The tumbler comes in the kit as well. It's a stainless steel. Has the lid and the straw that comes with it. So all you do is you put you put the tumbler itself on here. You secure it on there. And then you take it off and then you put it in the box. And then it's a super easy on-off switch right here. On off. And if you hit it twice, 
it'll go back, it'll go turn the other direction, so it can go both directions. And then once you're done, and this thing is ready to roll, you'll have these beautiful tumblers like this. These ones are, these ones we poured yesterday. These are super smooth. You can see there's no dimpling, there's no bubbles or anything like that with this uh, coating epoxy that we have. Super good. Look at, look at what this looks like, how clear it is. Super clear. Um, but yeah, once you're done, like if you wanted to work on a second one, you just pop it off, put it on here. If you get another like PVC pipe, I mean, I think you can figure out what, what size it is and then you can have like a second one. Or you can just buy another one of these tumbler boxes from us too, whatever's easier. Um, but yeah, so with this, these ones, these ones are also gonna go to the sheriff's department here locally. We used a, uh, I think it was like a Rust-Oleum paint initially as yes. the base coat. Yes. We let it dry, similar to this. We used a Rust-Oleum white paint, uh, painted it, let it dry, and then then we just applied the, the, the coating epoxy just like you're seeing Magali do right now. And I'm making different ones. So I'm making a total of 20, and I believe there's gonna be four to five styles. 20 different, styles. different 20, 20 different, different styles. Yes. Oh yeah, Queen Lache. Hoping when I practice plus it would be a nice birthday gift. Oh, it's a birthday, huh? Everyone give uh, Queen Lache a little birthday wish. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Can we sing it? I'm not going to sing it. You don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Somlid 0309. I've never done tumblers, but I do all kinds of molds. I love doing it. Yeah. I mean, if you're if you're already, you know, experienced in using molds and epoxies, I mean, this is just one other um, creative outlet to... Uh, so much yeah, you this. can do so much with these. You can even do it with glitter, and then just I'm just leaving that yeah. there. Glitter. Yeah. Oh, they took they got rid of the Dodger cup finally. We had a Dodger cup that was all glittered out. Thank, thank, thankfully it's out of here. Jeez. Stop these. Yo, hashtag hashtag San Diego Padres. Sorry guys, not a Dodgers fan. <laughs> uh, Zayla Boutique. Does this epoxy have a strong smell? No, I, I, you know, I, I've, we've used a lot of different epoxies and, um, this has zero, zero smell. We're in a closed room. I mean, we, it's super well ventilated, but we're in a closed room and we can't smell it at all. Um, are you going to come out with a fast setting resin? So this is actually, um, one of our faster setting resins right now. We are working on another formula to be even faster, but this, you know, in your opinion, is this, Yes. Cure pretty fast Literally, for what you're doing. I started one at noon by six o'clock. It was already good to be touched, just like those over there. Okay. Um, what you can do too is warm it up a little bit. That's what um, I haven't tried it, but I was told put it in a warm, you know, um, a warm pot. Warm pot. Do kind of like a double boil, like a double boiler, right? Yes. So, so your pot you, in a pot. Yes, and then you just set it in there for a little bit. Make it a little bit warm, and then that's gonna make it cure a lot faster yeah. once you combine them both. Yeah, when working with any any epoxies, any of our epoxies at least, we always we always recommend to be at room temperature for you know a comfortable room temperature, like between 70, 72 ish. I know in some in some places you need an AC for that, but that's like gives you the most working time and ability to have less errors. But if you're trying to speed stuff up and you know what you're doing. Um, then you can, you know, start at a higher, a higher temperature for the product, start off with the product a little bit warmer or even the room at a little warmer temperature. Um, and then that will ultimately speed it up, speed up the process. Um, good question. Oh, wow. we got a lot of happy birthdays. There you go, girl. Um, you're taking over. Can I use the Telmer epoxy for my molds too? Absolutely. Yes. I've yeah. Tried I've tried it. If you work with cups and you're familiar with the straw toppers, I use this with my leftover resin at home and it works fantastic. Nice. Nice. All right. Do you sell the, the shorts? Uh, oh, the shirts. Yeah. The shirts, they're going to be, they're going to be coming up. They'll be on our site here soon. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a big, big promo. Once we have it all linked up, we got to, we got to get it all together. I work outside back patio and keep it on a cement as per your recommendation and it works beautifully. Yeah. You know, when you have it on a cement, I would put, put a piece of cardboard down 
um, underneath it. I don't know. It's something weird. I, I'm not the lab guy, but the uh, the lab the lab guys always say if you're going to put it on the ground or on a steel frame rack, always put a piece of cardboard in between it and the in the and the steel or the concrete. I don't know why, but um, I just follow their directions. Um, got some 7,000 coming, but wondering if I could use a tumbler epoxy in my molds. Absolutely. This stuff works good uh, in molds and, you know, coatings. I mean, there's endless amounts of projects that you can use this for. This is UV stable, which is the most important aspect of this product itself. UV stable. So it's not going to yellow over time. Um, how do you clean, how do you clean the rims of your tumbler for it to be smooth? Good so question, I, good question. I use an exacto knife, so let's pretend this is a tumbler right here, and I always like to add a little bit inside just to create a seal. So then what I do, I get a sanding block, I run right here, I go over it a little bit, and then I grab a, an exacto knife, and then I just clean it up. And you'll notice, I'll start with the inside, you'll notice that once you start lifting it, the, ex the excess is gonna lift off by itself so and this is after it's cured right this is after it's cured yeah. yeah so you're gonna leave it cured uh leave it to cure and then you're going to clean it and then what i do is i grab there's a lot of ways to do this i use acetone i put it on a cotton ball make sure not to touch the epoxy with it and then you clean the inside and a little bit over the run too and that will uh that will completely clean the epoxy now, after you do that, it's very important to wash it. So we are going to be washing it and then to make sure that the acetone and the leftover epoxy inside is completely clean. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, well, it's 11-ish. So I guess we gotta pick pick a winner here. Let's, uh, let's get our... We're gonna choose the winner. I gotta get my helper over here to pick the winner. We got we got to draw we got to draw the winner here. All right, y'all. Well, so for the big boy. Well, you let me know. When you're yeah, ready. we're doing it. We're doing it. All right, hey. So this is the, the this is the winner of the apron right here, and then these two are the sweatshirts. Awesome. And then so let's pick the winner. All right, last chance. If you know somebody that wants to get a, a giant kit of epoxy resin, ten of our pigments, ten of our powders, a turner, a tumbler. The football that comes with it, the whole kit and caboodle. And it comes with an apron. Last chance to tag them. Let them know that we're gonna we're gonna throw it in. Also, oh man, we're also gonna put the apron in there as well. One of the aprons. So you get basically a, your whole your whole business in a box is all set up, ready to roll. Safety glasses, some gloves. Oh yeah, some fancy Uline safety glasses. Shout out to Uline. Um, so all right, here we go. Let's let's pick the name. Let's make sure you're still here, obviously. Really. All right, who's drawn? All right, all right. Jason, uh, drop Sergio, a drop a drop a contest. Sergio here is going to hold the cap. We're going to put all the names in here. You want to show Sergio? This is the cap. We're going to put all the names. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There we go. So we're going to put all the name. We're going to write. We got all these names written down here. Um, we got them all ripped up. All right, so all right, you guys tell me when to stop. If you guys haven't commented on on our post yet, drop a comment. Drop a contest. Hashtag contest. What is this one? This is number five. This is awesome. Love it. All right, guys. Here we go. All right, Magali, you're just gonna say. We're, 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 we got our hand and getting ready to pull it out. So you just say stop, and that's the one we're going to grab. Ready? Okay. Ready, and say stop. Stop. All right. Who's the winner? Who's the winner? It is. Oh, man. Who's the winner? Hold on. We're getting ready to pull it. Oh, they haven't pulled it yet. I guess we're not all synced up here. <laughs>
we go. All right, guys. Here it is. No. No way. No. Who's this? Art by Yali. Art by Yali. All right. So this is our this is our winner. Art by Yali. Is Art is Art by Yali here? She's got to be present. You got one minute. You got you got less than one minute to comment. Art by Yali. Where are you at? You gotta drop a comment for us to find you. Or we gotta pick another name. Art by Yali. You're the winner. At Art by Yali. You're the winner. You're gonna get an apron. You're gonna get 10 of our pigments, 10 of our mica powders. You get a 64 ounce kit of our coating resin, our limited edition epoxy resin store mat. Also one of our tumbler spinners, Jason. the tumbler itself. I just found out that today it's high voltage epoxy's birthday. High voltage epoxy, it's your birthday? Happy birthday. We're gonna send you out a kit of our uh, tumbler epoxy free of charge. Oh yeah, Art by Voltage. Hey, hey, Art by Voltage, make sure you send us a DM and also Art by Yali, congrats. Hey, can you send us, a, shoot us a DM as well? And uh, that way you can get all your your information. Awesome. Okay, high voltage epoxy is Travis. Is his name. High voltage epoxy. I guess uh, we looked it up. Your your first name is Travis. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Travis. We also had another birthday in here too. Who was that? Let's go back. It was Queen. Queen. Uh, yes, yeah, the one that we're gonna see her birthday too. Yeah. Who's Queen? Queen. If you're still watching. Drop us a comment so we can find you again. We'll send you a gift. All right, so in fi final closing notes here, which one's the best one? What do you guys like? We got one, two, three, four, and five. Which one? Let's get closer. I like four. Queen, there we go. Queen by Lachey. It's her birthday too. Happy birthday, Queen. Yeah, birthday. look at these. Yeah, these look super marbly, huh? Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Magali, where can people go see your tumblers? Uh, MVP Custom Designs. Make sure to add me. As, crea as creative that. as we all are, this is what we came up with to promote her right now. <laughs> All this creativity here, and we used a marker and a piece of paper. <laughs> uh, it's the best. Uh, hey, so uh, Mama, Mama Hood and Magic Shop. Yeah, so you say when's the next giveaway? We're we're doing them. Uh, we do a lot of them actually on our Facebook, our Facebook page. If you go to our Facebook page, you'll see that we have some giveaways going on there Tell quite her frequently. Okay. All right, hey, hey, so what was your name? Mama, Mama Hood and Magic Shop. Love your name. That's <laughs> uh, our one of our guys is gonna shoot you a DM and let you know about our next uh, our giveaway. So we're gonna have a we're actually making some pro professional tutorials on how to do all this. You'll see here we're we're recording everything. Uh, we just had a really cool uh, workshop. Um, more than just glitter. When's the next in-person workshop? So it's going to be in September, right? So it's going to be September. I believe it's September 24th. Let me just double check on my calendar. We're going to double check that. So I think it's going to be like September 24th-ish. But we have a live workshop that we do um, in yes. Lake Elsinore. And September it's... 24th from 6 to 8 o'clock. It's going to be Sunflower Tumblr Girls Night Out. Girls Night Out. Sorry, guys, boys. Guys are welcome, too. Oh, yeah. Guys are welcome, too. <laughs> But yeah, sunflower. So that's uh, September twenty fourth. If you guys are local in the Lake Elsinore area, uh, a lot of fun. swing on by. You can RSVP by going to Create Studios. Yes. Or they have a DM too. or shoot uh, MVP Custom Designs a DM. Create Studios is a uh, awesome little creative shop locally. 
Um, they, they teach a lot of different classes. They have a really, really nice workshop mm -hmm. space set up and they have pretty much everything you can imagine to create not only just epoxy stuff, but just paint, do everything. They got, they, they have everything. They have all the products. They have all the blank templates to use. So, all right guys. Hey, so we're going to, we're going to bounce out of here. Um, Thanks, everybody, for joining us and, and tagging and sharing with everybody. Congrats to all the winners. Um, look, Be on the lookout. We're going to have these these kits, this uh, giant – we're going to call it the Ultimate Tumblr Bundler Kit. It's going to be live on our website here soon. We'll shoot out a message. If you're not on our SMS list, uh, all you have to do is you just go to our website on your cell phone, and then you can opt into our notification list that way. And then our email list – you have to do it on a desktop or your tablet, I think, and then you'll see a pop-up and you just opt in with our, your email right there. Um, that's part of our notifications. Obviously, you can find us here on, on Instagram, and we're going to be doing probably do our next, um, our next giveaway here on Instagram here soon. So thanks again for joining us. Um, high Voltage Hi. Epoxy, thank you. You're the best. Dude, you make some amazing stuff. So um, if I wasn't so scared to get electrocuted, We'd, uh, <laughs> uh, I'd try it, but we definitely gotta, we gotta figure out a way to link up and, uh, uh, have you, uh, have you create some stuff with us. That'd be great. Um, also anyone else out there that's a creator locally, um, you know, prefer preferably Southern Cal, but I know it's not possible everywhere, but if you're locally or in the West coast ish, you know, we're, we'll travel and, you know, we'd love to see what you're doing and do like a little live and giveaway and talk about all your stuff and have a little demo and just reach out to us shoot us shoot us a dm here and let us know that you want to try to link up and uh, share what you're doing so awesome guys anyways say bye to magali bye guys. Woo! all right guys